Well, that's it's not, not true, real journalism. True, ju true journalism is giving the full story and the facts. Because you're trying to manipulate us. And we don't want to be manipulated, especially when we're just trying to watch sports. They're a bunch of morons. They Zion Williamson, he wants to come to Chicago. He's gonna he's gonna end up it's more concerned with making the all-star team than winning a championship. I don't think we're gonna get Zion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I not Tom Brady fan. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not talking about <laughs> Tom Brady fans, no. I'm not talking about the complete donkey riding suckers out there. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I told you guys so. I've been yelling about this since about week four. I told you so. I told you so. We're not, we're not related. Get along? I hate this some bitch. <laughs> That's this fucking mass hole over here. Ser seriously right now? <laughs> Hold on. I just fought it into this pillow. I got to move it. What's wrong with that? Yeah, you don't want to get some pink eye or nothing. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Me and JD are back at it. Absolutely, and uh, we are going to dive right into today and then right off the bat, crash the stream. Thanks, bud. Anyways, but so we're going to get right into it, man. Uh, wow. Wow. We we got a couple of uh, we have a couple of a couple of stories that that we are that definitely need talking about. And we're gonna we're gonna kind of break them down and and uh, and give you our thoughts on them. We're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with the NBA. We're gonna start with the NBA. JD, your Chicago Bulls have claimed the number one seed right now in the Eastern Conference, sitting at 25 and 10. Um, an impressive record, and they are they are on a roll right now, guy. They are Hell yeah. <laughs> they are they are playing very, very good basketball. And we've talked about it for for a bit now. And their their biggest weapon on that team and, and biggest asset is they play unselfish basketball. They don't care who scores, who leads the team that from night to night, they they don't they don't care. They don't care who gets the who gets the stars of the game. They just play un, unselfishly and they're they're sitting at at 25 and 10 and like we like I said to open it up leading the Eastern Conference Finals. I just wanted to get some of your thoughts on that man as a as a you know as a Bulls fan they're they look pretty good man they do man it's been a lot of suffering I'll tell you what man there's been a long it's been a long time since the Bulls were even remotely good uh probably about six years I want to say and uh since they were even relevant you know what I mean since they were, they could even make the playoffs probably like about 10 years since they've been actually good and it's really cool to see that we, we invested in somebody like DeMar DeRozan. We didn't even pay him max dollars at all, but he's playing like a max player. And it, it just goes to show that everyone has so much to contribute. These NBA players are so gifted, a lot of them, and they have so much to give the game. It, like if you put them in positions to succeed, you look at kind of like an Isaiah Thomas. I know that's, that's a little bit outlandish to think about him right now because he's kind of like, a 15th, 16th man. He, I think he just got waved again. But like, if you put him in position to, to win, he scores 30 points a game. But then in, uh, but then you put DeMar DeRozan in a position like Popovich did. He's got like only like maybe just under 20 points, maybe 20 points a game, something like that. But then you put him in Billy Donovan's system where it emphasizes mid range and in and out play and everything like that and unselfish mm -hmm. ball. And he's just as good as anybody. He's, he's one of the best top 10, 15 players in the entire game when you put him in that system. So it's amazing what some of these guys have for skill. Uh, and it's it's amazing how diverse and different this Bulls team is. Uh, it really does remind me of the Raptors of 2019. Um, 
and potentially the Pistons of 2005, 2004, where you just have all these different parts and they kind of work together really well. And it doesn't matter what the stats are. Everyone's kind of really, really good and they can all go off. I love to see those types of teams. And I'm really hoping Matt Barnes said that the Bulls are his favorite to win the NBA title. Man, that would be something, man. That would be absolutely something to see. Not no no doubt, man. It it uh it it would like I said, Dave. The the the, the off like like talk about a, a a killer off season too. They they found a lot of these guys, and you know what? A lot of them were cast offs. Were, yes, were, were, you know they were. Demar Derozan was forgot cast about. Off. You know what I mean they, they were they were they were, you know, kind of other people's garbage that they let go and just said, go ahead. Nobody wanted DeMar DeRozan. Nobody cared about DeMar DeRozan. They kept lowballing him. We offered him the most money, and to me, that's not even that much money to what he, it's for his performance level. He's outperforming his contract already. And I think that he gets off on – I think DeMar gets off on proving everyone wrong right now. This year really is, is exciting, and I'm not trying to speak for him. But I think that definitely just being snubbed, being traded for Kawhi, and then being snubbed in free agency, except by the Bulls, I think that definitely motivated him to come out and have a really good year. The rule changes, which we've talked about on this channel, and I have a video on my channel about that, is is the just the well, like our video basically. But that that definitely helped Demar Derozan just emphasizing the mid range game, checking people at the three point line. All right, well, you're going to check Zach Levine at the three-point line. You're going to check Lonzo at the three-point line. Here you go, DeMar. Go work in the middle. And DeMar loves that. Oh, man, he loves to work on that in, in the middle, in the elbow. It's He's he's phenomenal, and it's it's really exciting. It's really exciting to see. What's it's up? Good basketball. What's up, guys? So let me ask you a question. Why why have the – like, like as a, as a legitimate, like, like – contender that you know like a legitimate contender now title contender you know possible as a legitimate possible title contender the bulls why does it fit why does it fit dude why does it fit well why does it all why does all this fit well because i just said they they this was other like a lot of these guys were other people's do you think it's it's they're all playing with a chip on their shoulder because they were cast offs from other people i think you said you've said it twice or you said both of the things the chip on the shoulder cast away and then the fact that that they uh no one really believed in them so that's the chip on the shoulder but what was the other thing oh yes uh just just the um just the overall like chemistry of the team the unselfishness so it's the unselfishness and it's the chip on the shoulder i think that's what gets them going now i think and this is and i'm a bulls fan okay like so i don't want to be too like down or negative or anything like that but i think this team is either the raptors of 2019 where they're going to make a super deep playoff run compete with the best of them and then kind of flame out or keep in mind or we could be the uh pistons and kind of have a sustained run or the third option and i hope this isn't the case we could be the 2000 i think 14 atlanta hawks where they were the number one seed in the in the league, they were they won almost sixty games. They played really really well, and then they just completely got dominated in the playoffs by by LeBron James and other superstars. See, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about star power. So that's 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 uh, how does it work? It works with unselfishness and the chip on the shoulder. How far can that take you? I don't know. I'm hoping it takes us all the way. See, that's the biggest that's the biggest question though. Is it's how like like you ju you just said it? How far can can like a bull? Can the Bulls team go? Can, can the Bulls team go on pure guts and 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 determination? You know how far will that take you? Will will it take you to the finals? Or will will it take you to the Eastern Conference Final and and have to see? I think Good. for the Bulls to get to the finals, they're gonna have to go through um, the Bucks. I think they're gonna have yeah. to go through them. They're, they're, I don't think they're going to have a choice. They're going to have to go through Milwaukee. And I'll tell you one thing, that's going to be one hell of a series. If it ends up being Bulls, Bucks, that that's – if if the Bulls can beat Giannis, I think they can – it's going to be awfully interesting. That's all that I'll have to say. In, in my opinion, we are witnessing right now prime – 
DeMar DeRozan. This is like legit prime DeMar DeRozan. He's never going to be better than he is right now. And he's really, really good. But my question is, for the Bulls team, like if I was in a room with them, be like, all right, boys, all right, listen, we're going to the playoffs now. And obviously we're really far away. I mean, shoot, they might not even make the playoffs this year. They could fall off completely from grace. But let's assume they do. We're going into the playoffs. We have the mentality, okay, they got superstars on their team. They have champions on their team, like the Bucks talking about. They have champions on their team. Who's going to be our superstar? Because it's not DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan is an amazing second or third option. Really good. Like, the best second or third option you could ask for. But he's not the superstar. So who's the superstar? Is it is it Lonzo Ball and Zach Levine kind of both being good stars together? Is that your second superstar? Because you need at least two superstars. You, need, you got two stars and a star. But here's the thing. Is it Lonzo? Is it Levine? Is it both? Or is it just Levine? We need someone. That's why I cannot wait for the playoffs. I'm so excited for it because the playoffs are where stars are born. Like Trey Young, people were like, oh, no, I feel about Trey Young. He, he's wishy washy. He's inconsistent sometimes. Now, because of last year's playoff run, he is Trey Young. He's Trey Young now. Like people understand who that is, what that means. 45 and 15 a night sometimes in the playoffs. Yeah. Who's our guy like that? Who's going to say, all right, it's playoff time. I'm going to bolt my numbers up and just be a beast on every single end of the floor. That's yeah. what I'm excited to see. I'm, I can't wait for it. I really can't. It's just so exciting. I'm going like to watch every second. something from, from CBS Chicago Sports to get your thoughts on it. All right? Okay, deal. They got a lot of crap on there. Let's listen. All right, so I'd like <laughs> to read you something here. This is from uh, former NBA forward Matt Barnes. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. And he said, he says, this says, Barnes said on ESPN's NBA Today that Chicago's ceiling is the 2022 NBA Finals. So he thinks they can make it. He goes on to say, this is a very talented team and they're still getting better. Barnes expressed that DeMar DeRozan was having one of the best seasons in the NBA. And True. DeRozan still isn't satisfied with where he's at and still wants to get better. He goes on to that. say, Barnes goes on to say, it's not to disrespect Miami, Brooklyn, or the Bucks. This Chicago team is right in the mix with them. It's set. And then it says the Bulls added more separation in the Eastern Conference standings by beating the Orlando Magic, the Orlando Magic, since Barnes attached himself to Chicago to the Chicago Bulls bandwagon. Barnes <laughs> Barnes vote does not it's this says Barnes vote does have some weight as the 14 year journeyman did hoist up the Larry O'Brien trophy in 2017. The NBA champion did say on Monday on Monday's show that he predicted the Bulls to exceed preseason expectations and be the surprise of the NBA season. He says, quote, I don't want to root my own. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I called this at the beginning of the season, Barnes said. What do you think of that? Well, yeah, there's a lot of truth to what he's saying. Um, they already are the surprise of the NBA season, so that's definitely a thing um, already. Like, Even if they just won 40 games, they'd be the surprise of the season because people didn't expect them to uh, to play this well together. As far as DeMar DeRozan, I think that some of it, some of DeMar DeRozan, his success, like I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm – like denigrating him in any way because he clearly has made improvements. He's clearly a really great player, and he's a, he's an all-star player. There's no question. But a lot of it has to do – he was always this good. A lot of it has to do with the rule change, and people are not talking about the rule change, especially the main mainstream media. They will not talk about it. I don't know why. Uh, it's almost like – I think it has to do with LeBron somehow. I, I don't know how, but I think it has to do with LeBron. Anyway, the rule change – that you can check people at the line, at the three point line has it, it, you know it, it took its toll early on. I think it's still taking its toll with James Harden. 
but then it makes people you got to understand how basketball works it's like a flow you know what i mean and, yeah. and every, most yeah you've seen you've seen a million games you know what it is it's a flow so mm -hmm. when you when your flow is that oh i can check you at the three-point line what's open mid-range usually because people hustle down to the paint but not everyone's in position so what's open the mid-range is open demar de rosen has always had mid-range skills but it used to be an analytics game where he was being marginalized all right demar shoot a three all right, Demar, dunk it. And so that's all he's doing is shooting threes and dunking. That's not his game. His game is to break you down in on the elbow, and mm -hmm. that's a lost art. He, you know, Demar plays like all, like he plays like we all want to play. You know what I mean? Just like just cook you, basically, like cook yeah, you from like, the elbow. Just, just shoot, yeah, shoot just, from the elbow all day long. Yep, and just constantly wreck you. So no, it's 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 like, yeah, I agree with a lot of what he's saying. I definitely, I think that not a lot of us saw it coming. And, and I would just add that a lot of it has to do with the rules and chemistry. Like, too, the unselfishness is unbelievable. No one expected that, I don't think. I didn't expect that. How unselfish I don't even think Carnos Carnosovic, I don't, think, I don't, I don't think even so. think AK expected them to gel this, this good. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I think Vucevic definitely, just anchoring down the center position, that definitely has always, that helps. You know, he brought a team to the NBA uh, or to the playoffs he bought the magic to the playoffs. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think that he definitely helps too. But De DeRozan, he deserves a lot of credit. No question. I think a huge part of it, a big part of it too, kind of like an unsung part of the Bulls is their bench is playing really good too. Oh, they're so deep. They're, they're such a deep team. Really, their bench is playing really, really good too. And that, oh, yeah. I mean, it, you've seen – You've seen how far teams can go with a deep with a deep bench. It that will that will carry you. A deep bench will take you to the finals. It will. Caruso can drop thirty and get three steals if he absolutely needs to, and he's given the ball. Kobe White can drop thirty and he's pretty he's pretty big. Yeah, they have a good team. They have a good team. They could use maybe one more center behind Vucevic, but they have a good team. They have a good team, and they're about as good as anybody. It's it's pretty cool, honestly. I love to see it. Uh, and it is shocking that the Bulls season has been shocking. Like let's let's all acknowledge that. Even as a Bulls fan, I, I was hoping for the best, but not expecting this much this much success. I knew they were going to be good. I knew they were going to be, or I should say, I knew they were going to be much improved. From right. I didn't know they were going to be this good though. Signing to Rosen going to be this good this fast. I, I knew that would help a little bit. I was like, well, that's sir, that's that's our forward guard position. That's you know, we have some depth there now. So that definitely helped. Lonzo, I think Lonzo helped change the culture. I think I think he helps change the culture. Uh doesn't I, get talked a lot. Everyone I has think a lot a lot, a lot of those guys. I think a lot like like we hit on it at the beginning. It's 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 we said it we said it at the beginning. It's those guys have have they all they, they they looked at each other. I think when they when they built that you know when AK brought them in, and I think they I think he he must have said, "Look, you, teams didn't believe in you guys, and we brought you together. And look at what you're what like. It's it's like it's kind of like a giant like fuck you to the rest of the league. It's like, <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's like especially for DeRozan that's, and, that's and what, Lonzo and Lonzo. But that's what I'm saying. It's how, these are so you wanted to cast up. You wanted to just cast these guys aside. We're gonna take them and we're gonna show you what their potential really is.